Hello and welcome to my Pilates for Dancers series. Now you don't necessarily have to be a ballet dancer in order to enjoy this workout with me. All you will need is a mat, some socks, comfortable clothing in which you can freely move in, and some water by your side in order to stay hydrated. Now I'll put a link down below for my Instagram, it's J-A-S-S-O-M-E, Jassome, and I post frequent workout videos there every other day or so, just to make you look and absolutely feel your best. So again, I'll put a link down below. Without further ado, let's get started on our backs, get into this Pilates workout, beginning with our abs. So we'll do 10 Pilates roll-ups, laying down, coming up to touch our toes. Here's 10, all the way down. Nine, rolling through your spine, scooping your abs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three more, three, reaching all the way to your toes. Two, and last one, one. It gets more difficult the more you do it. Great. Great, still on our backs, we'll do 20 toe touches with our legs. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 more, 9, 8, 7, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna extend our leg as it goes down, hovering off the floor for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lying on our back for 45 seconds, we're gonna do Pilates 100s, breathing in for five and breathing out for five. Now to challenge yourself even more, you can extend your legs 45 degrees straight out in front, still breathing out for five and in for five, extending your legs if you can. And finishing in three, two, one. Now staying on our back, I like to put my hands underneath my bum. We're gonna lower our legs 10 times. Here's 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, keeping your abs flat, two, and one. Great, next we're going to do 20 elbow to knee crunches. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14 more. one. We're going to do 10 straight leg lying down leg rotations outwards. 10, 9, keeping your hips stable. 8, 7, 6, only the rotating leg moves. The other one stays strong below you and the hip stays down. Almost there. 3, 2, Last one, nothing else moves except for the moving leg. And switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, finding that inner rotation, nine, and 10, last one. Excellent. Now we have hamstrings to work on. Still lying on our backs, we're going to do 20 pelvic raises. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We do the same thing, 10 with one leg up, one leg pelvic raises. Here we go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. That leg is perpendicular to the floor, 5, 4, three, two, one, and switching sides, the second leg, 10, nine, you can flex your foot if you need to, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Putting that leg down, we're gonna stay here, raise your pelvis up high, move your arms up perpendicular to the floor, parallel to the walls. We do 10 pulses, rotating our legs out, keeping our hips high. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, making sure your knees are over your feet. They're the same line, three, two, Last one, one. Great. Now staying on our back for this next one. This one is excellent to do if you want to strengthen your jumps and jump a little bit higher. We're gonna walk out on our heels in a pelvic raise, not as high as the last exercise, a little bit lower for the health of our lower back and walk back in to where you started. On our heels, here's the second one. Staying a little bit and walking in, trying not to move the hips. Here's the third one. Trying to keep the low back long, not crunching it in. Hence the reason we keep the hips a little bit lower than the last pelvic raise exercise. Last one. Fourth one, last one, stay a little bit longer here. And back in. Excellent. Let's do one more for good measure. And coming back in. Great, sitting up, taking a little bit of stretch on your neck. We're gonna meet on our knees and do pelvic thrusts on our knees from a seated position. We thrust all the way up with our hips and sit back down. Let's do 20, 19, 18, 17, keeping your back long. 16, 15, trying to make a straight line as you thrust up. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three more. Let's go. Three. Keeping your abs engaged. Keep breathing. Two. Last one. Great. Now we have to work on our arms. My favorite. So arms out to the side, palms up. We're going to do 20 raises. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn the palms down. We do the same thing with the palms down. Twenty raises with the palms down. Here we go. Twenty with the palms down.
switching the palms to the back, 20 with the palms back. Now 20 with the palms forward. When we bring our arms from palms down out to the side of us to palms up, our elbow meets our hip, 20 of these. with the palms forward, raising up in a triangular shape up towards past our head. Excellent, just to roll out your shoulders, stretch them out. Let's do two big wide shoulder rolls, two to the back. And reversing, rolling towards the front twice. Excellent. Excellent, now we have our back, so meeting on all fours on our hands and our knees, we're gonna do opposite elbow to opposite knee reaches. Here's 10, nine, keeping a stable core, not wiggling and wobbling everywhere. Eight, Seven, this is excellent for the stability of the hips, the stability of the shoulders, and the strength of the core. Why you act like I'm not me? Baby, right now it feels like, it feels like you don't care. Why don't you recognize I'm so rare? Last one, now we stay here and we push our leg out to the side, 45 degrees, five, Four, three, two, and one. We do the exact same series on the second side. So opposite elbow to knee, 10, nine, eight, don't make me count up all the seven to stay with you. Six. Five more in the last one, we hold it. Four. Three, feeling those wiggles and wobbles, stabilizing your core. Two, one more, and we pulse our leg out to the side five times. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Now for the next one, we're going to find a dolphin pose on our elbows, similar to downward dog, our hips are reaching up to the sky. In a dolphin pose on our elbows, we're going to do 10 calf raises in this position. Here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, last one, year one. And let's move into a plank. Holding a plank for the remainder of this set. Hard to find. It feels like you don't care. You don't care. Why don't you recognize I'm so rich. Great, now laying face down on the floor, we're gonna do four chest raises for the upper back strength and the lower back strength. So peeling off one by one vertebrae, we're gonna do four. Here's the second one. 
getting higher and higher each time. Legs are parallel for this. Second to last one. And last one. Now we do the same thing with our heels down. So legs turned out. Try to get a little bit higher. Keep those feet on the floor. That pelvis is on the floor. You're using your upper back to bring you up, not your tummy pushing against the floor or the momentum. That's why our arms are down for now. Two. One more after this. You can put your arms behind you to get a bit more of a stretch. Hold it. Hold it. Use your arms to go up and over your head and all the way down. Excellent. Stretch out your back if you need to. Do a couple cat and cow at your own pace. Stretch out your upper back and your lower back at your own pace. As many as you'd like, either fast or slow. Stretching out that lower and upper back. bit we're going to work on our upper and inner thighs so laying on our side body we're going to do 20 clams knees on top of knees heels on top of heels hips stacked on top of one another 20 clams here we go 20 19 18 17 16 15 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 more. You can put your hand on your hip to make sure it's stable. 9, 8, 7, 6, almost there. 5, 4, Three, two more, two, last one, one. Hold it here for a second and relax. Great, now for the inner thighs, let your top leg rest in front of you and lift your bottom leg 20 times at your own pace. You can either do 20 fast or 10 slow. clams on the second side here we go 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four more. Keeping a space underneath your waist. Two, last one, and one. Same thing, inner thigh exercise we do. The bottom leg lifts either 10 slow times or 20 faster. stretch afterwards I have some stretching videos I'll link down below or put on the end of this video thank you so much for joining me today I'll see you next time have a great rest of your day take care stay safe and thanks again for watching bye now